Welcome back, Hollywood Horror Film Club, Ghostface and Michael Myers Collectors. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Friday. Everyone, thank you again. Um, before we start, please like and subscribe, hit the bell notifications, um, share these videos so these so we can keep getting recommended in the algorithm. Um, and hit the comments below if you got any questions. Anyways, thank you for joining me again on this perfect Friday for another review video Ghostface and Michael Myers collectors and this week we're reviewing the and unpacking and the Halloween 2 Michael Myers Elrod knife I've been waiting to get this knife for a minute and like I said last time on my review of the scalpel and mask trick-or-treat studios is losing their license to all things Halloween 2 soon so if you are a fan of Halloween 2 like I am, go and get yourself some Halloween 2 stuff from them because it's not going to be available anymore pretty soon in a few months. So, And you know what? I really like this knife a lot. It looks pretty damn real. It looks real as hell. It's huge too. It, 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 it looks pretty much exactly like the knife that Michael gets off of Mrs. Elrod's counter when she's cutting up ham for a sandwich for Mr. Elrod. Looks exactly like it. Look, check out the picture. You saw that? It looks just like it. Just as big, too. It's a huge knife. It, I know it's just a bread cutting knife, but the, I, I actually have a real one in my kitchen, and they're pretty damn pointy. Like, they're not really sharp from right here as much. They may look sharp because it's serrated, the knife, but they're really, really pointy. So I could see why in the movie they used it. Michael just stabs the, the girl's chest after she gets off the phone. Yeah, you can tell why they only used it once. Because this knife was only like good for one kill. It's just a bread knife. Just for one stab deep in there. But this is an awesome knife, yo. I freaking love it, dude. It looks so freaking real. It looks really old school. Like, it has a very old school vibe to it. Like, a super 70s, 80s type of knife. Like, some shit that, like, my parents would have had back when I was a kid. You know, in the 90s or something. It's such an awesome knife here. Let's take it out of the packaging. Got to be careful though. It's foam, so we don't want to ruin it. But yeah, like I said, Halloween 2 is uh, probably um, my favorite sequel from the original Michael Myers movies, you know, from the original Halloween movies. It's my favorite sequel because it takes, look at that. It looks so cool, right, Michael? Look how big the knife is. It's so cool, Halloween too, because it takes place right after, like, moments, or, or, or it begins right in the end of Halloween 78. That's what I love about it, that Halloween 2 literally looks like Halloween 78 still. It's literally Halloween 78 still. It's just called Halloween 2, and the same mask, just more yellowed down because it aged a bit, you know? But yeah, this, this knife is awesome, dude. Look at that. That shit looks pretty real. Take a good look at it. Holy crap, this shit is sick. And like I said last time, we're making the Boogeyman 2 this fall. So I'm getting all the props I'm going to need for the Boogeyman 2. You know, we really want to make it kind of like Halloween 2, the original in a way. So I want to use almost all the props that we use in that film. It's such an awesome knife, dude. It looks so real. Look at that shit. The paint is awesome, too. It's really good. Trick or Treat Studios does some pretty good, good job in a lot of shit, dude. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people talk shit, but... It's because, like, if you're not, like, uh, like I'm a collector, but I also like buying these props to make my own fan films and shit, you know? So if you're not, like, uh, like that kind of collector, then I could see why some people would be disappointed, you know? But I'm never disappointed, dude. This, this, these guys are awesome. Like, before, before Trick or Street Studios, who else was making, like, screen-accurate props from all the movies using the actual molds? No one was, dude. Back in the early 2000s, you still had the Dom Post Michael Myers masks or or the Rob Zombie's Halloween masks and shit. So you had to paint them up yourself and shit. Or if you wanted a good one, they, they would cost way more back then than now, you know? Because it was a way smaller market back then for rehauled masks and stuff. Movie props. Really love this knife, though. Like I said, it's so, so realistic looking. Can't wait to use fake blood on it and stuff. Oh, dude, it's so sick. Look at that shit. It looks so cool with the mask. And like I keep saying, like I keep saying, we're going to make the Boogeyman 2 this fall. And we're going to make a, uh, what is it called? Go fund? No, not go fund me. An Indiegogo campaign. Because we want to raise enough money for at least some good cameras. 
and a lot of fake blood. <laughs> At least with some good cameras, you know, so we could give y'all, the audience, the YouTube fans, uh, a really good shot Halloween fan film and not just shot on phones, you know. Also for lighting too and stuff. But I'll talk about that more when it's time for that. I'm 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 gonna make a indie go an Indiegogo promotional video for that. So I'll let y'all know eventually on that. But yeah, this is gonna be used on screen for the Boogeyman 2. Like I say, I love Halloween 2. It's a great film. It's basically Halloween 1. Just extended. It's kind of what they did with Halloween Kills, you know? <laughs> it's basically Halloween 2018 still, just extended. Oh, dude, this is an awesome piece. Like I said, you got to get it if you haven't. It's so good. The handle looks cool. It looks really old school, really, really. Very 70s. Look at the, the paint job on it. Very, very 70s looking. Hell yeah, dude. I'm surprised Mrs. Elrod was actually cutting ham with this knife because in reality, the knives serrated like this for bread aren't really that sharp. <laughs> so I'm surprised she was actually getting a slices cut of ham with this knife. <laughs> so cool when Michael has it up like, oh, I'm about to stab the girl. Mm, it's really nice, dude. It'll straight kill you though. The, like I said earlier, real ones like this, the tip is very sharp. So yeah, I should have plunged through you pretty nicely. The packaging is awesome too. I seen I seen uh, other YouTube video creators make reviews of this product too, and um, some of them come in bags. I noticed mine came in like a little cardboard fold, which actually I like better the cardboard holder because I could put the knife uh, back on it, hold put put it back on it, and put it back on the wall for display. You know, the bag, yeah. I, like if it came with the bag, I would have just had the knife laying around on my bed and like probably get damaged like that. So I I really like these because you could um you know hook it back on to the um, what are these called again? The, the, the zip ties and the knife will stay there. You know, it'll look nice on your wall, like my wall back here. Got more stuff there, but I'll, I'll show, I'll do, I'll do a review video of my room and show off all my props and stuff that I have so far. But, yeah, this is awesome stuff. Look at that, the point up close like that, boom. Yeah, this is going to look really good with this mask eventually in the new film. Yeah, but I mean, I do more shots of the knife, you know, like I do with masks, like going all around it and stuff. But it's, it's just the knife, you know, so it's not really worth doing that for this video. Because you could pretty much pick up all the detail like this. You could just pause the video and just that's why I'm showing all angles of the knife, you know. So y'all could get a good look at it, pause the clips and see what it looks like for yourselves. Cause yeah, like doing a whole video of me going around the knife and like showing it off, it doesn't really work like with masks. There's not enough detail to show like what the mask would be. Yeah, but like I always say, thanks again, Hollywood Horror Film Club for joining me this Friday on this product review for the Halloween 2 Elrod knife used by Michael Myers in 1981's Halloween 2 made by Trick or Treat Studios. They're awesome. They make a lot of great shit. Like I said, they're losing the license to all their Halloween 2 stuff. So I'm going to say it again. If you're a Halloween 2 fan like me, a hardcore one, you better get all your Halloween 2 props bought because in a few months, probably like two, three, they're not going to have any of this anymore. And you're gonna get it ripped. You're gonna get ripped off by scalpers online selling it for more when it's way cheaper to get it from the actual company. You know, you would think it'd be the reverse. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again, Hollywood Horror Film Club, for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Like these videos so the algorithm keeps recommending us, and we can make keep making more horror content. Uh, comment below if you have any questions about the Boogeyman Two and how you can get involved with uh, with the Indiegogo campaign. Hit the comments below. Um, uh, follow us on Instagram at Hollywood Horror Film Club. Um, like I always say, you know, thank you for all the support all the time. And catch y'all next time, y'all. Hey, yo, Frank, you want mayonnaise on your sandwich? Yes, please. What about mustard? No mustard. All right.